Today, we're going to discuss some grain elevators in Alberta and the history behind some of them. So let's get started. The old wooden grain elevators that we all have come to love are becoming a thing of the past. Many are becoming structurally unsound and have had to be torn down or have burnt to the ground due to fires. In the 1930s, there were 1,780 elevators in Alberta alone still standing. Now, there are only 110 left standing on active tracks. The old grain elevators simply don't have the capacity to handle the demand that we have in today's day and age.
This elevator, located just south of Olds, Alberta, was built in 1980 after the original elevator burnt to the ground. Pioneer, which is now owned by Richardson, has been building much larger facilities. One is located on the other side of Olds, so this elevator is hardly used.
modern grain elevators are slowly replacing the old ones. Seen here is a newer one that still doesn't have the high capacity that some of the newest ones with loop tracks have. However, it is still able to load grain hoppers much more efficiently than the old elevators ever used to. A perfect example of elevators disappearing off the prairies is in Innisville, where in 1986 there were a total of seven elevators within the town site. Now there are none. Just to the north of Innisville there is this elevator, which is now owned by Canadian Malting, used to store oats. This elevator was built in 1982. Shantz Elevator, one of the oldest elevators left standing in Alberta on an active rail line. Located just a few minutes east of Tofield, Alberta. We will have more on this in just a few moments.
What would be the point of talking about grain elevators if we didn't have a little bit of scenery in with the video? Here we have a farmer using a swather cutting the wheat in his field. The Schantz Elevator was built in 1908 by the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway and has largely remained unaltered from its original state. An interesting note is the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway named all of their town sites alphabetically for the most part. So if you go to the east it would be Riley. This one is Schantz and to the west of here is Tofield. Each elevator was built approximately 7 to 10 miles apart. And sometimes a town would build around the elevators and other times the only thing left would be an elevator. Back in the early 1900s, roads were not very common. So the railway it was really the only way to transport their products outside of the area that they lived in. And farmers needed easy access. 
This particular elevator has changed hands many times and is now currently just owned by a private farmer. This location actually had two elevators sitting side by side, but in the 1960s it was decided to take the one down and move it to Calgary where it now stands completely restored in the Calgary Heritage Park. This grain elevator, located in Onaway, Alberta, is the oldest fully functional grain elevator still in operation. It is owned by Onaway Feed and Seed and still gets loads transferred to trains on a regular basis. Built by the Canadian Northern Railway in around 1910. And for our final location, we are here in St. Albert, just north of Edmonton, where we have two original elevators, both built in 1906. Both of these elevators have been fully restored, however they are no longer active as grain storage.
Both of these elevators have historical designation and can be toured inside and out. There is also a railway station that has been fully restored in the location just below.